I have over 200 perfumes in my fragrance collection and these are the 10 fragrances that I've received the most compliments on this year. Hello everyone, welcome back to Jeux de Rose. So compliments aren't everything, but they are nice to hear, especially when you wear a good fragrance. So these are the 10 fragrances that I've been getting a lot of comments and compliments on over this past year. I haven't done a video like this in a while, so I wanted to give you an updated list. Let's get straight into fragrance number one, which is I Want You by Jimmy Choo. Now, I haven't worn a huge amount of this fragrance because I find it to be quite a generic designer fragrance that's like a floral, fruity, vanillic type of scent. But for some reason, whenever I wear it, I every single time receive a compliment, especially coming from my husband. So what is so special about this perfume? I think it is a sparkling sweetness that grabs people's attention. So in this fragrance, you have mandarin, there's some citrus fruits, some jasmine and vanilla. And I think overall, this is a super likable DNA. Yeah, it's like fun, playful, girly, it's seductive, like it takes a lot of boxes. And when I smelled this fragrance for the first time, I always say this, I say that it reminds me of Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, but like the dry down of it reminds me a little bit of that fragrance, like that sexy, sweet, almondy, tonka bean, vanillic type of DNA. But with I Want You, it is definitely on the fruitier side, on the fresher side. So I would say if you already own Carolina Herrera Good Girl, there is a good chance that you would also enjoy I Want You. And if you're maybe looking for a fragrance more for the daytime, because like the Carolina Herrera fragrance is more of an evening scent. So if you want a daytime scent that is long lasting, that is compliment getting, that has a monster sillage, I would recommend you try I Want You. This next fragrance I've talked about a lot on this channel, so I'm gonna get it out of the way very quickly. Gris Charnel from BDK. By now you probably have smelt it or you would have heard of it, sampled it, whatever it is. It is a great, great perfume from BDK. Actually, I have a second one in today's list and these are the only two so far, the only two fragrances that I would recommend from the brand that I truly really enjoy wearing and that are very very good fragrances so Gris Charnel, great autumn and winter staple spicy frothy milky chai latte type of scent so it's spicy with cardamom there's also some fig in there as well for a little fruity touch lots of sandalwood lots of creaminess there's some light notes of iris so it dries down a little bit powdery such a gorgeous fragrance i mean i'm almost halfway done this fragrance it is so so beautiful and it's really long lasting on my skin as well which i very much enjoy and the second fragrance from bdk is velvet tonka and i've been reaching out for this fragrance a lot when I was craving from something that is a little bit sweet, but not too overbearing, that is sweet and sexy. And I tend to wear this in the evening if I have like an event to go to or something like that, I will wear it. And I kid you not, every single time I went to an event, I got a compliment on this fragrance. I feel like, again, it's a very likable DNA, but also really unique. So Velvet Tonka, what does this fragrance smell like? Well, it is, to me, it smells like a cherry marzipan almond type of scent. There's no cherry in this perfume, but I do get like a distinctive cherry note. When I was a child, I used to have this like paste, like a cherry paste that smelled of cherries and you would blow like little balloons out of it. And yeah, I mean, anyways, that's what this perfume reminds me of a little bit. And you have this like addictive, sweeter, powdery almond goodness that feels like marzipan. It is a delicious perfume and it's one that is also very strong. So I like that. I like the fact that it is powerful, impactful and will make a statement. And it's not your typical like almond scent that is ultra creamy or that is too sweet or anything like that. It's a really unique fragrance. So if you want like an almond fragrance with a cherry twist, a light cherry twist, this is a great one to try. Next, we have another favorite here on my channel. It is Skirtso by Miller Harris. Gorgeous rose to oud combo here. Very different to any of the other rose oud fragrances on the market. It is 
truly a unique and enchanting fragrance. So the oud is there, it's gonna give like a backbone, a structure, it's gonna like anchor all the other notes and add that element of mystery. And you have a beautiful floral heart of rose, but it's like very fresh and dewy, watery florals in there, like very transparent rose, as opposed to maybe a rose that feels, a rose oud combination that feels more Middle Eastern. This is, I would say, fresher and more uplifting than your traditional Middle Eastern and Rose Oud combo. Very, very nice fragrance from Miller Harris. My favorite one and the one that I would recommend to all of you if you were to purchase one fragrance from Miller Harris, Scherzo would definitely be it. It's crazy strong in terms of projection. This is like a beast mode fragrance. Everyone can smell you when you wear the scent and it's another one that I would recommend wearing for the evenings and for date night because it is incredibly sexy. I have another Rose Oud combo to share with you and oh, this one is so, so beautiful. Very different to Skirtso. It is the combination of two fragrances from Ojar. So technically this list is 10 fragrances, but since I wear these exclusively together, you can count them as nine. Anyways, so these two fragrances, I'm gonna tell you right now, these are in the travel spray format. I think this is so ingenious and very handy as well if you are on the go. So the first one is Red Redemption, and then we have Infusion Velour. So Red Redemption is a rose type of fragrance. It is spicy, rosy. I would say if you like Baccarat Rouge and like the addictive sweetness of Baccarat Rouge, there's a good chance you'll also really enjoy Red Redemption. So Imagine it has like a Baccarat Rouge-like sweetness, but with rose. Really, really pretty fragrance. And to be fair, you can wear this on its own and it's so beautiful. But I like to mix it with Infusion Velour. And this is a fruity oud scent. Super unusual. You don't really get fruity oud fragrances, but this one is like a berry-like fruity oud. And the combination of the two creates the most intoxicating, bold rose ouds scent it's incredible like the berry sweetness in this oud blends beautifully with the rose and like brings out the rose even more it is stunning and it's another combo that lasts forever on the skin this is like a 12 hour plus wear with a super strong projection so you can either find them in travel spray format like i have but i think now ojar have launched like the big bottles uh, which is great because you need more of these and I definitely am gonna need more of these fragrances. Ojar, Red Redemption and Infusion Velour. Next, we have the most addictive, creamy, sexy coconut fragrance. It is Kayali's Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. This perfume, I, ah, oh, it's so good. I'm actually gonna spray it right now. It is in the middle of autumn, but whatever. So, so, so nice. So Kayali, <coughs> not as nice to swallow the fragrance. Kayali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa is a really creamy coconut. Like think thick coconut milk blended with the creamiest of vanilla frostings. That is what this perfume smells like. I would say this fragrance is Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain's younger, more playful, carefree sister. So sometimes I would get some feedback from the Guerlain Terracotta Le Parfum being, oh, it smells like maybe a little bit mature. And I feel like maybe it's like the mix of the florals and I don't know what's going on in there. But if you want something that feels a bit more youthful, then Utopia Vanilla Coco is the one that I would recommend. And it's also on the more affordable side, which is great. And yeah, it's a fantastic coconut fragrance. It will bring you to the beach immediately on a tropical island, like you're applying some coconut infused body or like body oil, tanning oil, whatever it is, but you know you know what I mean. This is what this perfume is about. Absolutely love it. This is gonna be a staple as well for next summer. I can't wait for the warmer months to come back again to where it is beautiful. Speaking of exotic tropical-like fragrances, you need to get your nose on Gozo by Jero Baume. This perfume is outstanding. It is mesmerizing and I've never smelled anything like this before. If you like tube rose but with like an exotic tropical edge, this is the perfume that you need to try. So for me, this fragrance 
makes me think of like you're wandering around this like jungle filled with tropical exotic fruits, bright colors of like yellow, of orange, purple, pink. That is what this perfume is about. And maybe like a little waterfall in the background. Like you get the vibe. It's like an exotic, tropical, lush garden of tuberose with some fruity aspects. It's beautiful, so addictive, so intoxicating, and a really unique take on Tuberos. As I said, if you are a Tuberos fan and you want something different that will really make you stand out from the crowd, Gozo is the one that you for sure need to try. And I believe that you can get samples of this fragrance on the Jovois website. I will pop the links to all the fragrances in the description box, including where you can get samples of the fragrances where I can find them so that you can try them instead of blind buying them and then maybe being disappointed with your purchase. At least with the sample, you're not risking that much. So if I find it, I will pop it down in the description box down below. Now, if you are a fan of musky powdery perfumes, you need to try Glossier U. This fragrance is also, again, more on the affordable side, and it is such a beautiful, powdery, iris, musky cloud of a dream of a fragrance. So I love the fact that it has like a powdery, almost like finely milled, powdered makeup feeling, which I think is very fitting for Glossier, but at the same time, it's very delicate and elegant, and it has, that being said, it has a casual vibe about it. So it's a fragrance that you can wear on an everyday basis over the weekend. If you want something like more chilled and relaxed, this is a fragrance that I would recommend. If you like perfuming yourself before going to sleep, like after you've taken your bath or shower, this is a great one to spritz just out of the shower. If you want to have like a cocooning, soft, musky cloud around you, I would recommend you spritz this and also on your pillows. I always say this on my channel, spritz this perfume on your clean bed sheets, your pillows, even like a room in your house. If you've just cleaned the house or apartment, this is a great fragrance to just like spritz around and yeah, it just will make your apartment or house smell great. In terms of longevity, fantastic, lasts all day with a moderate to strong projection. Lots of compliments from this fragrance. I feel like it's really mass appealing, but it doesn't smell mass appealing, if you know what I mean. Like people are drawn to this perfume. I, I don't know what it is in this scent, but like, Every time I wear it, every time I get a compliment on it and like really lovely comments like, oh, this smells so good. I'm gonna gift it for, I don't know, my daughter or my girlfriend. Like this is the kind of scent that, yeah, just draws people in. Really love it, Glossier You. And the final perfume is probably my favorite from today's list. It is Le Vent by Hormone Jane. I've talked about this fragrance quite a bit now on my channel have used quite a bit of it as well. It is a beautiful, musky, peony, orange blossom scent. Beautiful fragrance, very intoxicating, feminine and elegant as well. To me, this perfume smells like an orange blossom infused Turkish delight. So it's a little bit sweet. You can imagine like the powdered sugar, like the musks and touch of sweetness in this fragrance. A bouquet of peonies, it's fresh, uplifting delicately feminine, such a beautiful scent. And if you are a fan of Fleur Narcotique by Ex Nihilo, but like me, you experience the fact that it doesn't last on your skin, Le Vent smells very similar. And at least for me, this perfume lasts all day on my skin, easy eight hours with a moderate to strong projection. So highly recommend this fragrance if you love sweeter, but also musky orange blossom perfumes, such a little gem. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what is your most complimented fragrance. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.